If you frequent the internet, you have probably come across uh, this video about if we war or our consumptions. Basically, in this video, uh, you can see people wearing like 20 pairs of sunglasses, very many hats on each other. And so they introduce the concept of buying more than what you need. So in our video today, we will be looking at how you can achieve financial minimalism. So basically, the concept of minimalism focuses on living with only what you need. And hence, you do more with your life and uh, with the time that you have. A classic example of minimalism is uh, having, say, a few dishes which you need, which means that you spend less time cleaning them and you're also not struggling to look for space uh, where you keep them. Uh, because, uh, for example, in our culture, you see our parents have kona plates, zawageni, which are very many and stuff like that, all which is really unnecessary. You only need to purchase uh, what you need with minimalism. So when it comes to financial minimalism, you cut out avoidable expenses and then you can redirect your resources into investing in items or services that will serve you long term. So the first way to achieve financial minimalism is by investing in long lasting items. We always say that cheap is expensive. Sometimes in a bid to save, you might uh, look out for the cheapest items and uh, these items might not serve you in the long term. For example, if you buy an older car so that you can save uh, money instead of getting a new car when you can afford it, then this older car might have maintenance issues which might end up costing you more than having bought the new car. Also, when it comes to items like clothing, investing in a few quality pieces can be cheaper than often buying cheaper uh, clothing pieces which may be tear after being used in the short term. The second way to achieve financial minimalism is spending less than you earn. Living below your means is not always necessarily about uh, spending less money than what you earn but it's also about not overspending on the things that you need. While putting money in things that give you joy is uh, a great part of minimalism, you should avoid overspending on the same. For example, if you are a book reader and uh, buying books is pretty expensive for you, yes, buying books it gives you joy and uh, in minimalism you're saying uh, spend on things that give you joy. But then again, you could buy ebooks instead or just download the ebooks and read them. Finally, remember that life is not for the gram. If you want to keep up with the Kardashians, minimalism is probably not for you. This is because uh, minimalism often conflicts with uh, the popular culture. While you might need to have a vibrant social media presence, it must not be directly associated with consumerism. While you manage to save a lot by being a minimalist, uh, remember to spend on your necessities and not spend just because you can. So what are the to-dos and not to-dos of minimalism? Basically, minimalism is a very deeply personal uh, lifestyle and you cannot really copy what any other person says minimalism is. So minimalism should be driven by your individual needs and not exactly what every other person uh, does. After all, we are only as rich as we feel. Money254.co.ke has written more about minimalism. Click on the link on our bio to learn more.